live from Oakland, California, the Bay Area. Baseball comes your way on a Wednesday afternoon. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Shambi on the play-by-play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good. So we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Paul Blackburn. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. One of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Now fly ball to right center. Loriano trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Third. Here's the Guardians lineup now. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Pickoff throw, Jimenez dives back in safely. Ramirez swings and blasts one deep to right field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Man at first, Josh Bell digs in for the Guardians. Two for eight in the series so far. Blackburn, an all-star a season ago, he features a sinker, a cutter, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Foul ball. Go back to Cleveland. Two outs. That misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Jimenez leads off first with two down to the inning. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. That one blasted deep to right. Loriano raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. So one hit is all they get. And now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. Back in Oakland. And today's starting pitcher, Tristan McKenzie. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. 
Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff. And he should be really good in this one today. Jace Peterson, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Right hander kicks deals. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind to kick the pitch. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Tony Kemp at the plate now. That's ball one. Oh, can't get out of the way of the fastball, and that's going to sting. Well, the bad news is that pitch wasn't close. The good news, they're set up to turn two and get out of the inning. Man at first with one gone. Here's Oakland's DH, Jesus Aguilar, in there for strike one. The pitch. And it's ball. even up. Well, with the one amount ball, of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, ball. get yourself into scoring position. Two, one. The 2 1. Fouled off. He was late. Two two on the ground the first and it's through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Oh, just that a line. nice job coming through in a pretty high level spot right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So here's Brown at the plate. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First ball pitch one. just misses. One ball, no strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next That's pitch in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the right hander deals. Ball. And the slider just misses. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Two on, one out. The other way. Racing makes the catch. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corner. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. 
The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. Oh. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. And the righty deals. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. A strand a couple, scoreless after one. Top of the second, and Indy now over the guard it's guard. Josh Naylor. The first base is number 22, Josh, Josh Naylor. Naylor. The pitch. Good eye right there. 1 0. -oh. And delivers outside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Righty to the plate. They say you win. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch misses. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Diaz, relay to second, not going to get him. He's in there. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Oscar Gonzalez. And fouled off. Naylor leads off second with nobody out. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it Three. properly. Next offering is in for a strike. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Man, it's second. In the air, foul off first. Makes the grab one down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Ahmed Rosario stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The 1 0. 
This one lifted in the air, left field. Rooker puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Oh, he throws it away. The center fielder. And here's the rookie center fielder, George Valera. In there, and it's 0 1. and fires brings it in for the third out no runs one hit a double no errors and one man left now to the bottom of the second we're tied nothing nothing back here in the East Bay now Connor Cable McKenzie back to work that's outside one and oh And that one almost got him. And a pitch. There's a strike. Now two and one. The two on is high. Now a check swing on three and one. Appeal to third. And Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here is Brent Rooker. Two for six so far in the series. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. McKenzie over to first. He's Capel dead. back in on a dive. Another move to first. Oh, yeah, they're keeping him close. In the air to left center. Quan settles underneath it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Batting it. No center field. Loriano comes up to hit. First pitch, oh no. not close. That no. misses off the outside edge. Right. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Runner, runner. runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. The 2-1. On. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And he went around. Ruled a swing. Bounced out to short. Toss to Naylor. Inning over. We'll move to the third with no score. I finally made up my mind to take a better stand. Concentrate in my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. 
Welcome back. And now, Bo Naylor. The catcher. Naylor measures six Nailer. feet even, 195 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2018. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Blackburn, 6'1 no righty, 195 pounds, and he was selected to the All Star game last year. Next yep. offering is in for a strike. Come on, the pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Stepping up for the Guardians, Andres Jimenez. And a foul ball. And he deals. And that one fouled off. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Swings and misses. Some high cheese for strike three. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. First oh. offering misses the mark. Stephen Kwan pretty active on the bases and not surprising his favorite players growing up were two really good base runners Ichiro Suzuki and Dave Roberts. Swings and misses and that is strike one. At the belt and fires. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's one on the first double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Langoliers, 25 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The wind and the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Really nice sequence for the quick strikeout right there. A couple of breaking balls to get ahead. 0-2. Then pump the hard stuff yeah, yeah. line for strike three. And I like that he didn't mess around. Sometimes guys, they like to get too cute. They waste a pitch here or there and then find themselves back into a hitter's count. But right there, he had him right where he wanted him and pitched him aggressively to get the strikeout. Now it's Jace Peterson. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. In the air, out towards left center. And there are two outs. No batter, number five, second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Tony Kemp now at the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Next ball. offering is down low, and that's ball one. Ball. 
And that one hammered way back there. Banks off the wall. The throw into second. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. Out of the fourth, now it's Jose Ramirez. Blackburn back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And here it comes. And that one sliced foul. The pitch. Hard hit, right side. And Ramirez is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Josh Bell. He flied out to the warning track in his first trip. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's oh. outside. Two oh. This to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, the patience and discipline paid right off here. right there as he got yeah, into yeah. an advantage count. Man. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Here's Josh Naylor, doubled in his first A.B. Right. That one's in there on one. Bell, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Come on, Oakland. Right hander kicks deals. Breaking ball gets the corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. the pitch and now two and two it's a good take left hand hitter waits grounder might be two fired to second and it's a double play to end the inning one hit in the inning but no one left to the bottom of inning number four now we're tied nothing nothing here at the ballpark bottom four and now it's Jesus Aguilar here comes a pitch that one off the mark and it's one to know pitch swing and a miss as he was out front kicks and deals this one popped up foul ground first base side 
Naylor makes the grab, and there's one down. Now bad first base. Seth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Seth Brown. 0 for 1 so far. Yep. And that's in there for strike oh, one. Yeah. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. That one misses. One, now one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Next two, offering two. in the dirt, two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That one down the line, oh, and it goes just foul. That one lifted to left. Quan puts it away. Out number two. Now batting. Two outs, out. base is empty. Diaz. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Pitch misses no. inside. Ball one. One ball. No strike. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. And the one two misses to even the count. No, Just missed. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two strike pitch. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Next offering is foul back. Three and two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. One left for Oakland. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And a pitch. This one smoked out to left. Rooker makes the grab. One pitch and one out. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Let's go, First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. 
Strike two. No ball. Two strikes. And the right-hander deals. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and now tried to check the swing, the just went around game. too far, you and you're away. hoping the umpire Bolero. maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Valera, oh, the no. next to hit, takes outside. pitch and there's a ball well on the mound very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat And a 2 1 on the way. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Up next to Cleveland, the catcher. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And he's already singled in this game. Now move to first. Valera gets back easily. In there for strike one. Up the middle. Oh, what a stop. Throw to first. Nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. We'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in for Oakland, Brent Rooker. And the pitch. Rooker checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. You know, these athletics need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball. With... Swings and misses. Struck him out. Wow, short work to send him packing to the start the inning and no the messing bat. around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Loriano no. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And the 1 0. There's the strike. And that one missing low. Two ball, one strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. Just okay. misses with that one. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Righty to the plate. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he puts back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and 
I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. In there, and it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he deals. This to center field. Valera after it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there. Still no score. Back in Oakland, and stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Makes a nice grab at a full now sprint. And a quick out number one. Steven Kwan. Steven Kwan, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Juan in his second season, 25 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. The 1 0. Bounce to the right side. Kemp handles the chance. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Here's Jose Ramirez. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Well, Jose Ramirez had a sensational 2018 season. He became just the eighth player ever to have a season with 30 doubles, 30 homers, 30 steals, and walking more than he struck out. Two outs. There's a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That misses the zone. Now one and two. 0 oh, two pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One and two here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Offense held in check there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. And we still have no score. Back here in the East Bay. Yeah, what well, we go bottom six. The third Here's the third baseman, yeah. Jace Peterson. Peterson. McKenzie back to work. That one oh, missing one. inside. Two balls, no, no strikes strike to ball. count. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The That's next the offering misses, and a count is three and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Quan racing over to make the catch. Here's Tony Kemp. Yeah.
First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one missed. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Next one misses three and one now. One strike. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. And now the DH, Jesus Aguilar, one for two. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. That clips the corner. Here's a 1 1. That's towards center. Valera after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Now, now, now. The first big Seth Brown. Seth Brown up next for the A's. First oh, offering misses the mark. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And the 1 0. There's a strike. That misses. And a count 2 and 1. Kemp off of first with two away. Fly ball down the line. Quan settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is that. The A's strand one. And we are still scoreless. Welcome back. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. The designated hitter, Josh Bell. And the right hater back to work. Strike one. No ball. One strike. The 0 1. No. One ball. One strike. This is inside. And that's outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The pitch. In the air right field. Capel pulls that one down, and there's one down. 
the first base. Josh Naylor two. getting ready to Josh hit. Naylor. Go, Ogie, go. go, go. Swings through that one. Oh, wow. oh and one. It's a bullet, but it goes foul. Strike. Next pitch oh, misses no, inside. Good. One and two to count. Belton fires. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now that right two outs, here. base is empty. Oscar. And up next for Cleveland, Gonzalo. Oscar Gonzalez. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and he just misses. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. That's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Rosario. Go ahead, run on base. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Bullpen activity starting up now. Hogan Harris, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. Number 38, warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's down it away. Two balls, two strikes. Two two now. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. I think he made his pitch on the mound. Two-strike count made him chase way outside the zone, but just couldn't get him to miss. And somehow he found a way to put it in play for the knock. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. First and second, two down. And it's no, just foul. foul. That was close. Strikeout. 
the one one swing and a foul straight back the pitch next offering misses down and away Line drive, base hit, headed for the plate. One runs in, around third. He'll score as well, it's 2-0. And he's got a two-run triple. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the A's bullpen. Paul Blackburn out of the game. Good effort out of him, even though he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm on the bump after a quick break. Hogan Harris on a pitch out of the pen here. This is his third time out this year. Here's the speedy catcher, Bo Naylor. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. And now the lefty, that misses the zone. One ball, one strike. That one to first. Dives, and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But they pick up a pair here, both coming on this two-run triple. And it's two-zip. Bottom of the seventh, Aledmis Diaz now. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the air, right side. It gets down, a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now, Connor oh, Capel. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Tying run at the plate. That's Ball inside. Two. Diaz on at first. Nobody out. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nod. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Brent Rooker will hit next. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First offering, and it just misses. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. No outs, runners at first and second. Next Ball. offering no. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Ball. 
Fall off foul. Kicks and fires. That one catches the zone. That's strike two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. The pitch stays alive. Swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. In the air, left side. Quan settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Oh, the throw is wild. Now, center field. on one out. Here's Ramon Laureano. And things can change quickly here with one swing. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next offering is in for a strike. One one. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Ramirez settles under it. And there's two away. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter. And nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that until his next at bat. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. The next pitch misses, and one and one. Two on, two outs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And a pitch. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe at the play. And it's a one-run game. Picks himself up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Manager out of the dugout now. And he will make a move to dip into the Guardians' bullpen. Tristan McKenzie is done and a nice effort out of him no doubt new arm coming on we'll be back for that in a moment so cleveland brings on a new reliever eli morgan well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game some of them are just wired different so we'll see what he's got here So the lineup flips over. Next up for the A's, Jace Peterson. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. 
The next offering misses, and it's one and one. There's a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him! Inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at the ballpark, we're at the top of the eighth. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Andres Jimenez. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That ball. one drifts inside. The Athletics have some bullpen action. No Danny shot. Jimenez up and throwing. Next oh. one misses. Ball two. That's out to center field. Pulls it in for the out. Up next to Cleveland, the left field. Steven. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Let's go, three to go, baby. Let's go. First oh. offering misses the mark. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Left field. Rooker racing over to make the catch. Up next to Cleveland, the third baseman. Jose Ramirez Jose. digs in for the Ramirez. Guardians. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. First pitch and he just misses. Hard ground ball, base now. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner at first with two away. Josh Bell at the plate now. First one offering out. misses badly for ball one. He's going, he's Here's going. the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. The first base is number two. First and second, Josh. two outs. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor, one for three. Tried to check his swing, appeal to third, and he won around just enough that time. Let's keep it right here. 
The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Ramirez, the lead runner at second. Bell at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch misses. Two and two. In the dirt, blocked. Third out. Guardians strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Tony Kemp. The second baseman. The line in the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe up and throwing for Terry Francona. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Quan settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. The designated hitter is number 99. Now the A's designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, just misses. The tying run at the plate. Just missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. In the air, out towards right center. Valera moving under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Up next, next. The first base base. Now on the bump, Sam Hentges. He's being yeah. eased into the game You're here with the bases please, empty. Please. Now, number 31. So digging in, Seth Brown. The corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Let's get on and a pitch. Inside, no, just missed. up the middle in a base hit and that extends the inning always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come oh, through it's just bigger than your yeah. own individual stats got a fastball middle of the plate jumped all over it absolutely smoked that ball two outs runner on first Aledmis Diaz up next for the A's and the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. The lefty, the 1 0. In the air, left field. Quan settles underneath it. And that is that. A strong showing there from the Cleveland bullpen. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Guardians 2 and the A's 1. Back in Oakland, here's a speed threat. Oscar Gonzalez. Here comes a pitch. Harris, 26 years old. And he was a third-round pick. 
back in 2018. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Danny Jimenez appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Into center. Loriano right there to make the grab. And there's one away. The bat, number one. Uh, and up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Ball in one now. Foul ball there. And that one moves his feet. Down and in, moved his feet. Two two now. And now the count filled up three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Stepping up for the Guardians, George Valera. One's in there, 0 and 1. No ball. Let's play. He swings and fouls one off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And a ball evens the count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Checks over to first. Back safely. In the air, left field. That gets down for a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Just a blue pin behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Bo Naylor now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Left-hand hitter waits. One-run game here in the top of the ninth. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. That one missed. Now three and oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That's in for a strike. Now three and one. And they're all loaded up. 
Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now, here is Andres Jimenez, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Going one. Oh, one. One out, base is full. Next offering upstairs. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Next offering is in for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. One run is in. Another comes in to score. Another scores. They clear the bases, and they lead by four. He's in there. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. First pitch, and he just misses. 1-0. Runner on at third, one gone. That one hooked foul. That missed inside. Now two balls and a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Now the third so in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First ball. offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two up. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And here it comes. Good no, eye in that spot. Too low. Two minutes. At third with two away. Okay. They say it went. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Two gone with runners at the corners. Josh Bell digs in for the Guardians. The switch hitter batting right.
First offering and it just misses. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Next ball. pitch is downstairs. Two ball. No strike. Snap throw to first. Ramirez back in standing. Runners on first and third. Two away. Next pitch is outside. And a strike in there. Here's a high chopper. Throw on to Brown. And that is that. So they get three runs, only two hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Guardians five and the A's one. Last chance for the home team. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Connor Capel. Henches back to work. There's a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Next no, offering down. is down low. And now it's even one and one. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Trevor Steffen up and throwing for Terry Francona. De Los Santos getting cranked up as well. Kicks and deals. And it is you two won. and one. pitch ball. and another ball okay. Gonzalez trying to get there Swing and a miss struck him out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Rooker batting with one down takes a strike. Deal two. And now oh. one and two. That's and now the ball. count is even. Two ball, two strike. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. And first offering is fouled off. And 
and the pitch. Now one, one and one. Is just one strike away. And down on strikes. Ball game. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room. But you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place. And let's take that series again. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. We'll see you soon.